Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Stay positive out there. Let's get right into it. So, and don't forget to hit that like button. We got Drake trolling Yeezy again. He said, Ye must be born again. Now he's referring to Kanye's Sunday service. It's not, it's not an olive branch. It's nothing like that. It's trolling at its finest. What do they call someone that is a like refines their Christian faith. It's called a born again Christian. Okay. Um, I'll give you the exact definition. It means born again or to experience a new birth is a phase particularly. I, I can't say that word is too big. <laughs> that refers to spiritual rebirth, regeneration of human spirit from Holy spirit contrasted with physical birth. Okay. So it's a born again Christian. Okay. Um, it's, it comes from, uh, you know, the phenomenon of gaining faith in Jesus Christ. Okay. What Yeezy is doing, Drake's not, now see that sweatshirt right there. If you want that sweatshirt, click the link below. It's only available for this weekend. Okay. You want that sweatshirt? <laughs> Go get it below. Anyways. Um, so what he's referring to is Kanye is basically becoming Joe Osteen, okay? He's not fooled by it. He's basically trolling his whole new wave, okay? Joe Osteen makes like $40 million a year or something like that, okay? Uh, there's, you know, Creflo Dollar. Uh, Mace even did this at one point. Mace wasn't making that kind of money, but, you know, he was making a lot of money. So he's, he's making a super church, and he's kind of calling them out on it. Ye must be born again. You know, all of a sudden he found... After all the evil things he's done to Drake and a bunch of other people, he's born again. He found himself. Don't forget that sweatshirt, Ye must be born again, it's below in the comments. You can click the link. It's very cheap, okay? Anyways, these guys are re-sparking everything off. This is going to really make Kanye mad because he's going to be like, Yo, man, I'm just trying to make peace with myself. I'm trying to be peace with God and everything. It's like, man... The sickest thing in this world is taking advantage of people's faith and beliefs. I don't like Joel Osteen too much. Okay, I love his motivation. But yeah, I don't like these guys that ask for money for you to practice your faith. You know, they ask for 10%. It's a lot. It's like a manager. I don't believe in that. I believe in just believing in God and praying to God. And being thankful and treating others, no matter what color, just like you want to be treated. Okay? Everybody's the same. Until they prove you otherwise. <laughs> okay? But anyways, yeah, he must be born. He's, he's trolling him. He's pulling up to a concert with little need. I forget the guy's name, but he's, he's very, he's up and coming. Looks like Drake got that Pullman. Okay? Have you ever, got, have you ever seen the Mercedes Pullman? Uh, Maybach, Psh, that thing is like a million dollars. It's bulletproof. Uh, it's hard to get. Um, I think a lot of artists have tried to get this and they can't get it. The fact that Drake got it, I mean, isn't surprising, right? <laughs> but wow, that is like one of my favorite limousine cars i mean it's crazy I, it, not even jay-z jay-z could get it but jay-z doesn't have it this thing is fire look at that thing Woo! that thing's fire man um anyways and it's very hard to get if you want that hoodie okay that drake hoodie it's in link below let's get into jay-z jay-z is he up to something? Is he trying to keep Meg the Stallion for himself? I say yes. Dame Dash told us. Jay ain't ish. Okay? Look what he did. He kind of, in a way, tricked Dame Dash and Biggs out of their own company. I've broken this down before, and I'm not going to do it right now. Tricked him out of Rockefeller. Okay? Basically sold it to Def Jam where he was going to become president and bought it back. Wow. Wow. Okay, even Rockaware. Wow, did it with that. He does this time and time again. 
And he's probably doing this with Megan Stallion. He sees the success, the potential, signs it a rock nation for management. Jay, uh, Jay Prince and Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford's the baseball player that put the money behind Meg Thee Stallion. And she signed a 300 for a single deal. I don't, I don't know if she has a full-fledged deal. I, don't, I think they're still weighing their options out. But Jay Prince and Carl Crawford, even though they pulled back on their initial post saying, you're not going to take anything from us, it's a slight message. Like, go this route if you want, but we're prepared business wise you know so jay-z is trying to keep meg the stallion from I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure okay i you know can't i i don't know the future but it seems fishy uh came out of nowhere and it seems like they were blindsided in a way by this meaning carl crawford he wasn't there i haven't seen her repping 1501 you know a little spooky We'll have to see, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this hoodie below, 30 bucks. Get it. Stuart Tower with JT News.